Hey there, everybody. Good morning. It's time for 7 Minutes in the Morning. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome back. It is Monday. Time to get a new week started. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host. This is seven minutes in the morning. When you get here, do what Joe is doing right now. Leave a comment. Say hi. Say good morning. Say good morning to America. Hey, George. Good morning to you as well. If you'll do that, if you'll drop a comment and say hi to me, I will say hi to you. How's that for a trade off? Hey, um, I'm going this morning. This is like number three I've got going here. So it's a good morning already. So I titled today's show where to get started because I'm going to use, um, this is kind of the, the, the quote, the theme that I'm using today, this quote from Arthur Ashe. It says, start where you are, use what you have, do what you can. Right. So many times we get so wrapped up in figuring out all the answers that we forget to actually do the work. And then by the time we do get around to doing the work, the moment's gone. Think about it this way. How many times have you thought? Almost everybody's had this thought at least once. If you've had this thought, I want you to put, yeah, that's me in the comments, but. Almost everybody's had this thought at least once. They're watching TV. They see a commercial come on and it, I, Hey, I, I remember I had that idea. That's my idea. I know George has heard people say this if he hadn't thought it himself. Yeah, Joe's absolutely right. Everything we need to get started, we already have. You just have to start. The difference between you and the person who got that product on TV is that they started. They started with what they had. And, you know, I, I told this story or it's going to come out a little in a little bit later about, um, a couple of weeks ago when we were doing the engineer to entrepreneur program, I just kind of accidentally, sometimes Joe's experienced this a little bit. Sometimes I have these moments, right? I'll get, I mean, really I'll get in the flow and man, in fact, if you've watched more than a couple of episodes of this show, you've probably experienced it too. I'll get in the flow and something will come out and I'll say something. It'll be, and I'll recognize it sometimes at the moment and go, wow, that was pretty good. I should remember that. And then two minutes later, it's gone. That's why I record all the shows. So I can go back (laughs) and catch those. But no, so the point is, a couple of weeks ago, engineered entrepreneur, I came up with, with one of those things. And if it hadn't been for Jesse being there, catching it for me and reminding me of it later, I might not have ever remembered it. Hey, Keith, good morning. That analogy was this. It's like sitting in your driveway with the engine running, waiting for all of the traffic lights between home and wherever you're going to turn green before you pull out of the, the driveway. Now, it was especially appropriate in that environment because that's exactly what engineers and I, I are one engineers do, right? Is we try to solve hard problems and we try to think of all the different permutations of that problem so that we can engineer out those defects, right? The problem is real life running a business doesn't work that way. You just have to start. There is an absolutely fantastic uh, video by Steve Harvey, Um, the jump video. If you hadn't seen it, man, what kind of hole have you had your head in? But I'll I'll find it and link it down below. It's a couple of years old. It was before one of the uh, Family Feud episodes. He came out and talked to the audience and talked to them about jumping. Sometimes you just have to jump. Right? Yeah, you're going to hit the rocks. You're going to get knocked up, bruised up, knocked up. You're going to get knocked around, bruised up. Um, but eventually the parachute's going to open and you're going to sail and it's going to be beautiful. But you never experience that if you don't jump. Right? As Joe said, you have everything you need to get started. 
So start right now, today. What's the one thing that you've been putting off that you can start today? You know, and look, here's the other thing. And I, I think that this, who was I? I was, I had this conversation over the way I remember who it was. I had this conversation over the weekend where the, the magnitude of the decision or even the permanence of the decision seems intimidating. And so in this particular context, we were talking about taking a new job and, and my advice was, well, then tell yourself that you're going to try it for a year. If it works, if it works out in the great, in, in the first year, great. Go into the second year. If it doesn't, then a year's what I'm putting into it. And now I'm going to move on to something different, but you have a year's worth of experience with a, you know, a really great company on your resume. Go do something different. There's no, it's not, I mean, there are very few permanent solutions. <laughs> Most of them are temporary, right? So you have everything you need. Go ahead and start. That's my encouragement for today. If this has been helpful, if you get anything out of our conversations, I would love it and appreciate if you give the old video those thumbs up and hearts and share it with your network. That's how we get the word out, get more people uh, here joining us every day. Remember, the replay is available. You can also listen to this wherever you find your uh, podcast or get your uh, in your favorite podcast catcher, iTunes, Stitcher, TuneIn, all of those. You can even ask Alexa, hey, Alexa, play seven minutes in the morning for me. So now she's going to answer me here in just a minute. There she goes. All right, that's it for today. You guys have a great day. See you again tomorrow.